when I was working in graduate school, I was working on a gene therapy approach to HIV. And for this gene therapy approach, I was infecting mice with this very aggressive, very deadly lab-adapted strain of HIV. And so I was working in the lab one day, I was by myself, and I was all gowned up with all the things that we wear to protect ourselves from HIV. And so I was wearing, you know, lab coat and double gloves and a hairnet. And I had this mouse in the hood in front of me, and it was sedated, it was asleep. And I reached in with a needle to inject the mouse with this HIV. And as I did, the animal inexplicably jerked, and the needle plunged into my finger. It was one of those moments that you don't forget, and it changed the way I thought about the virus. So during the month that I waited to find out if I was infected with HIV and took medications, uh, I thought about the people that had to take these medications not just for a month, but every day for the rest of their lives. And so the disease had this human face to me that it didn't have before, and it made me really passionate to work on HIV cure research.